Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I give you a Sephora haul. I told myself I was gonna steer away from hauls on my channel, but here we are. I recently did a huge Sephora shopping spree, so I'm really excited about the stuff I got and I wanna show you guys. I usually do like one big Sephora order a year um, where I kind of purchase some stuff that I wanna try and restock on some stuff. I think the last time I did a Sephora haul on my channel was like 2019 maybe. All the stuff you're gonna see I actually haven't tried yet, so I'm probably gonna test a few of them along the way. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get started. They told me that they ran out of the bags that they normally have in store so they gave me a reusable one which is exciting. We love a reusable bag. So the first thing I purchased is the Amika, I think I'm saying it right, um, the Amika Signature Conditioner and Shampoo. I love these bottles, they're so cool. I used to be one of those people that would literally just buy my shampoo and conditioner um, from like the drugstore and I would always just pick up whatever is on sale, whatever's the cheapest. But like if you care about your hair at all, you really shouldn't be doing that. It took me a couple years to realize that. Also just in general, when you use a more expensive shampoo conditioner, you really notice the quality. But I just realized one day like I love the way I feel when I use a really nice shampoo conditioner. So why not treat myself every single time I have a shower. This stuff I've actually never tried before, but I recently saw in someone else's Sephora haul that this stuff is really good. So I'm really excited to try these. Also, I'm pretty sure they're vegan. If so, we love that. Let's give these a sniff test. Ooh, it kind of has like a fruity, coconutty scent. This next product I have heard really, really good things about. Guys, I'm also not gonna know how to pronounce this right either. It's the Ue, ooh, ooh. <laughs> You get the point. This is their fine to medium hair treatment mask. This brand has actually been kind of blowing up a little bit recently because they're known for having like really, really good stuff. I'm trying to take better care of my hair recently. Um, I'm actually cutting a lot of this off within the next few days. I have an appointment. It's just getting way too long for my liking. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I feel like my hair is really gonna thank me for it too. Let's open this and see what it smells like or if it has a smell. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Then I got this pack of beauty products from Sol Janeiro. It comes with their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which is like one of the best creams I've ever tried. Brazilian Play Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Ooh. And it also comes with a hair and body fragrance. I think it's... Ooh, pistachio and salted caramel. That is gonna smell amazing. This whole set was only 30 something dollars, which is a really good deal because I think like for one of these things, it's $30. So very excited about this. Next thing I have is the Huda Beauty Mercury, Mer <laughs> Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. I cannot talk. I got this because for one, the eyeshadow colors just caught my eye. And for two, this palette was originally $88, but it was half off for $44 with another 20% off on top of that. So that's a really good deal. Mm. It has a really large mirror, which I really like in an eyeshadow palette. And then look at these colors, you guys. There's like a mixture of mattes and shimmers. I'm especially really excited to try the top row, I feel like. I don't really have any other palettes um, with those colors. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I do not regret this purchase. I also really needed to try the Rare Beauty liquid blush that everyone is going crazy over. I feel like blush is one of those things that I don't really have enough of and I don't really experiment with it enough. I am no makeup pro, you guys. I barely wear a full face of makeup. I like a very natural, light kind of look. So blush is really nice just to add to your cheeks to give them a nice little rosy glow. I got this in the color Joy because everyone is saying that's like one of the best colors you could get. I love her packaging, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the perfect color for me. Apparently with this stuff, a little goes a long, long way. You just want a tiny little speck on your cheek. Look how pretty she is, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm gonna be obsessed with this, I already know. This next thing is probably one of the products that I'm most excited to try. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit. I got this in the shade Medium. I've heard really good things about the Pillow Talk Lip Kits as well. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is kinda going viral right now for very good reasons obviously okay so here's the pencil Ooh, oh my gosh she is so cute but yeah this is the perfect color for me and let's look at the ooh, yeah lip liner very nice as well and i want to swatch this just to see guys i am so bad at swatches i'm not a beauty guru <laughs> but yeah that is like the perfect color why did i do that now i need to wipe my hand off i totally could have just put it on my lips so my skin has been low-key kind of bad recently actually high-key i've been getting really bad 
bad breakouts and then I also have cystic acne pretty bad as you guys have probably noticed. I was on Accutane for a bit but now that I'm off Accutane, we're like back to square one unfortunately. So a lot of people have recommended this. It's basically a serum um, for like blemishes and your pores. It's the Neosinamide 10% and Zinc 1% one. I don't really use a lot of serums to be honest. I want to get into using more serums. All right, this is what it looks like. It just comes in this little bottle. Apply it to the entire face morning and evening before applying heavier creams. Okay, that sounds that sounds easy enough. I'm really excited to try this. This was only like six dollars. The Ordinary is a pretty cheap brand if you guys are ever looking to like switch up your skincare routine. This is another product I got to help with acne. Um, an employee in the store actually recommended this to me. This is from the Inky List, um, also a brand I've never tried before. This is their Beta Hydroxy Acid. This is a treatment for acne that you apply just like the other serum I showed you. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, this was also very cheap. I think like maybe 10, 11 dollars. I'm really excited to try this. It says it helps unclog pores. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably not in focus. After cleansing, apply one or two drops to your face. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I just noticed my nails. That is so embarrassing for me. Next, I got something from Makeup by Mario. I've actually never tried anything from his brand before, but everyone always hypes it up. This is the Master Crystal Reflector. I picked this up because the display caught my eye. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can use this as a highlighter or like eyeshadow. So this is in the shade Quartz. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I have never been so excited to try a highlighter. Ooh. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, my lighting setup is so bad, but like, oh my gosh. Okay, I am obsessed. What are these things? Oh, these are the samples they gave me. I guess Kat Von D foundation and then, ooh. Prada perfume? Hello. Next up is the Tarte H2O lip gloss. I've heard really good things about this as well. I feel like most of the stuff in my haul today I got because it was recommended to me. I don't know if I'm the only one, but like since the pandemic started, I have been neglecting my lips because every time I go out, my lips are covered anyways with a mask. Recently, I realized like I miss wearing lipstick and lip gloss. So like, I'm not gonna let COVID stop me from having fun anymore. Okay, this is in the color Villa and this is what it looks like. This looks like it has a really nice shimmer to it. Ooh. I like I have a bad cold sore right now. I'm just in rough shape, you guys. I also got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love the way setting spray makes me feel. I love like a good glowy, dewy kind of makeup finish. Also, setting spray is just so refreshing to put on. I've always used the Anastasia Dewy Setting Spray. I know it's called something like that. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I recently ran out and I noticed this stuff was $15. So I'm guessing it's good. I mean, it's Morphe. It smells good. Ooh, I can notice the difference in the camera. I'm gonna like this a lot, I think. Next, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter. The reason I got this was because it was $13 on sale. This is in the color Oyster. Kind of has like a peachy tint to it. I figured this would look really good with my light complexion. This is what the end looks like. Interesting. Let's try it on this side of my face because I already put highlighter on the other side. Yeah, I like that a lot. I feel like highlighter is one of those things you could never have enough of because it's so fun to like try new ones and play around with it. And last but certainly not least, we have another highlighter. Fenty Beauty is definitely one of my favorite brands at Sephora. First of all, look at this packaging, like hello beautiful. This is the Freestyle Highlighter Duo. Um, what colors did I get? Kilowatt foil colors? I don't even know what that means, but the colors are Sandcastle and Mint Mojito. Ooh, I really like this. I'm really gonna like using that blue. I think it's gonna bring out my eyes. I have very dark blue eyes, and sometimes it's hard to even notice that I have blue eyes. Look at that. Look how pretty she is. Guys, I'm a sucker for anything that's gonna make me look shiny and sparkly, so this is really exciting for me. Okay, guys, that's everything I got at Sephora. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting me, watching my videos. I'll see you guys very, very soon in another video. Mwah! Bye!